What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop and Al. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at an SL63. This is Mercedes AMG's latest and greatest SL and well it is kind of a weird car. We've made a full review with it or Martijn did. Go check it out in the top right corner if you want to watch the stock SL63 review because this is a tuned version. Tuned by Simon Motorsport in Germany. This is their piggyback tuning, which means that you get a little separate tuning box that you install because they cannot unlock the ECU yet. Uh, as of now so that means that if you want your SL tuned this is the only option and while some people might think it is an inferior product compared to an ECU remap uh, it does come with a couple of very big advantages number one if you want to keep your warranty this thing just goes off and you can go to the dealer number two this can be shipped worldwide so if you're interested in this tuning box by Simon Motorsport uh, hit them up uh, their Instagram is on screen right now this is actually a customer car, so also big thanks to the customer for uh, letting us have a go in it. It is a beautiful spec, especially when the sun hits this color, Monza Grey Magno. It is a very special color. It's like a dark grey, but there's a brownish golden tint in there, which does make it very special. Now, the SL63 used to be a big boat. It used to be a cruiser. It used to be a big, bellowy V8 car to take older gentlemen uh, from their homes to the golf club and back and now though they kind of mixed it up it feels much more like an amg gt roadster the car has been built by amg not by mercedes and it actually shares a platform with the new amg gt so i'm curious to see what they're going to do with that if they're actually also coming out with an amg gt roadster that would make the confusion even bigger but right now that's how i would position it because it's much more agile aggressive firm hard racy than the SL63 used to be. Uh, this is the hardcore version for now. You also have an SL55 and an SL43. This is the big boy version. Uh, we've got some carbon down here, Panamericana grille of course, super aggressive front lights, and then these amazing wheels. These are Pilot Sport 4S uh, tires, 275s at the front on a 21 inch wheel. Behind that we've got AMG carbon ceramic brakes. Those are optional, really nice to have of course. The SL63 is 10 millimeters lower compared to an SL55. We've got a V8 by turbo badge on the side there, carbon mirror caps and then at the rear We've got nice white rubber 305s on 21 inch, lovely tire. And then at the rear, gorgeous rear lights, exhaust tips integrated into the bumper, part of the bumper, uh, but they actually produce a proper sound. This thing sounds like a proper V8, not like the out not like the facelift e63 s for instance which we also tested which just sounds like a vacuum cleaner this sounds proper so we've got the 4 liter v8 by turbo in this version 585 horsepower 800 newton meters of torque but with the Simon Motorsport piggyback, you can see it right there. Uh, we've got 700 horsepower and 950 newton meters of torque, which is a lot. That is a lot. This thing weighs 1900 kilos, but still it goes like hell. It is really, really fast. It's super torquey. Like that bonnet, actually, it makes... Martijn also said this. I completely agree with him. Because they cut out this bonnet like that, it makes the front look much wider. Makes the, makes the front fenders look wider and flatter. It's really, really smart. A Faltebach AMG badge at the front as well. And then we've got the optional bucket seats, which they did improve. Uh, these are a little bit better than before. The performance seats, they're a bit more comfy. Still, you know, uh, they're pretty hardcore. For longer journeys, you also have the comfort seats available. I think those would be better for longer journeys, but much better than before. AMG GT used to be very, very uncomfortable. And this is much, much better. So, that's a proper sound. Horsey McHorseface is also back. 
that's the original horse and horse face that used to be here he's now over there but he, he's not always there so it's good to see him it's kind of his color this right it's horse and horse face gray magno anyway uh, we've got the display here you can actually uh, tilt it so if the sun hits it you can adjust it interior big big upgrade over an amg gt of course we've got the turbo fan air vents which are amazing with the magnetic click in there beautiful design we've got a steering wheel of course in line with recent amgs i'm not a big fan of this because you have a lot of buttons on the steering wheel and they're all touch sensitive so you tend to hit stuff uh accidentally but we do have the amg buttons down here that uh, allow us to change the driving mode but also your gearbox start stop aero amg dynamics suspension and exhaust so we're going to go for sport esc oh, we might just turn it off so off esc manual for the gearbox we've got four matic uh, which of course was not the case before used to have rear wheel drive also amg gt rear wheel drive this now has 4Matic, which means that the stock version goes from 0 to 100 in 3.6 seconds, which is kind of insane. Oh, listen to that. So, oh, they were not messing around at AMG when they were building this car, because I'm not sure how, how that is an OPF exhaust V8. I mean, it sounds so good it sounds deep it sounds dark it has purpose you have little crackles oh, oh, oh. man that sounds really good and you've got some turbo noises as well you can hear the blow off there it it sounds evil it, it really does if they would include this car in like cars the movie this would be like the evil german uh, roadster so let's do a launch control that means esc in sport gearbox automatic and then just foot on the brake full throttle and there we go oh jeez <laughs> oh that's quick man oh man oh it just shoots off now that increase in power and torque oh man you can feel it all the time it is really really powerful this thing even like on half throttle third gear oh you just take off man so yeah that power increase it is very very noticeable i mean it is a big step up this of course compared to stock power oh, oh. yes please okay so we can just hit this button twice and then keep it pressed and that means that the roof closes which is a bit better than using the slider on uh, the screen there i think this is a bit easier So, exhaust by the way, completely stock. <laughs> and it sounds very good. So yeah, that's something we don't really say that often anymore. Oh. <laughs> so, it is a formatic plus system, uh, but I don't think you have drift mode. No, we don't have drift mode. So you always have that four-wheel drive system, which is not a bad thing, I think. You know, with this amount of power, it's good to have, you know, this much traction at all times. So let's go for automatic DSP in sport mode again, and we're going to hit the autobahn. But before we hit the Autobahn, let me show you petrol vibes. These things, you've seen them before on our channel. We absolutely love them. We've got them here in the workshop. We've got them in the sim room 
upstairs as well. This is the Ford GT. As you can see, we have it against this wooden wall now. So you have a different effect compared to the wall upstairs. But these things are amazing. The design is great. They are laser cut from steel and you can have a custom design of your own car as well, which is mega. They also now have different versions available. So they have a neon one, which is backlit, it looks super cool. They have a standing one, which is a bit smaller for your desk or something like that. They also have a frame with different angles. And for some cars, they also have a front or rear angle or a top angle available. But go check out petrolvibes.com for all the different versions. Again, you can make one of your own car as well. Just send in a pic and they will make a design of your specific car with your accessories. Looks super cool. And use code AutotopNL10 for a 10% discount. Enjoy the video. Now stock, this car already has a top speed of 315 and uh, there is a limiter somewhere. And of course, since the ECU has not been cracked yet, that also means that you cannot take the limiter off yet. So we are limited, but this thing runs up to that limiter with incredible ease. Oh, it shoots off. to 200 stock we measured something like seven eight this thing we did six six but uh, the guys at Simon actually did six four already so that is a big big step up it's much quicker than stock much much quicker and it is not a slow car stock So as you can hear and see, the power delivery is good, it's smooth. There are no weird shifts or anything like that, it just keeps going. So, have to break. Yeah, you can see that one coming from a mile away. Ah, oh, he changed his mind. that again <laughs> that was pretty fun uh, yeah geez this thing pulls it really does it is so effortless bumps here in race mode no issue it actually absorbs them well we've got dual wishbones at the front they did a really good job setting up this car I think Matijn said the limiter was at 323. So I just assumed that he was right. It's a good thing that it kept going. 330. My goodness. Like it is absolutely nothing. Oh, what a car. Oh, what a tune as well. Because when Martijn did 328 uh, stock, it was on a, I think, a summer's evening. And it was completely empty and he needed a lot of space to do that but i did not need a lot of space there that was pretty insane wow 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 i would not have done that by the way if i did not have these ceramics because you need them you really do the cars that get up to speed this easily you need carbon ceramics otherwise don't do stuff like this mm, nice Alrighty, so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's so powerful. I hope that. 
Oh, it actually comes across the way this thing just takes off. We've got the nine speed automatic gearbox, of course, which is not as quick and as aggressive as the dual clutch gear truck unit used to be in the AMG GT. Oh, but it's not bad. It's a bit laggy on downshift sometimes. Yeah, you're just not going to fix that yet. Uh, it might be fixable if they crack the, the TCU. But for now, this is it. And upshifts are fast enough and uh, just during normal driving, the gearbox is perfectly fine. What an impressive car, man. It's... Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Yes, man oh man, Simo Motorsport, you guys did an amazing job on this thing and this is just, just with a piggyback tune, I mean they are going to replace the turbos when we're done with the car today for a stage 2 tune and uh, they will be back with that later, maybe beginning of next year probably because might not be the best time to check that out in winter but uh, who knows they will be back with upgrade turbos and uh, it should be even crazier. This already really surprised me. Absolutely love the car. It drives so good. And look at the way this thing just goes. <laughs> Easy 300 run there. Just before we have to get off at the gas station to give the car back to the guys at Seabolt. Amazing job guys, thanks for bringing the car here, had a lovely time driving it and uh, to you guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it as well and see you at the next one, bye.